Holy shit. Hello, everyone. My VQ people. We have the flea here. And then, well known the celebrity Fresh Kick. I'm not a celebrity, man. I'm just a black guy with <laughs> Okay, so basically, today I want to show you guys like the difference between the DE or Rev Up or the Rev Up, some Rev Ups, very rare, or HR or the VHR. Those three, the main major difference between those three engines, and also right here, those are the connecting rods. Okay, for now, this section they're all stock, and this section right here is the aftermarket one, which is well, the, this is the piston for force induction, and then this is the piston for NA setup. This is the normally, this is the normal one that I use, which is the West Coast, pretty good, but anyway. Okay, so as you can see here, those three pistons, this is for DE pistons. It's just looks like a piston, it's DE. Like, then this is for HR. And as you can see here, this is how to, how to tell. Right here, it has two dots. Right here, two dots. And this one only has one. Supposedly those pistons, in size dimension, they're exactly the same. But why HR is faster? Because of the rods. This is for DE rods, and this is for HR or VHR rods. You can see the VHR, HR is way stronger, is way, looks way better. So the HR uses these rods, which give the piston more stroke. So basically, the HR probably gonna make less torque, but higher horsepower due to the more, like, because it has more stroke. Uh, same size and piston. And then the third one right here, you can see here, this is the VHR piston, which is the 370Z or G37. You can see this area right here is a little hella bigger because the valves are bigger. And th this section right here, it doesn't really have any groove like that for the valve because it's higher compression. Like these three, these two, they're 10.3 to one. This is 11 to one stock from the factory. And then I just look kind of difference. It has two dots on it too. Yep, this one has two dots on it, but this section looks different. This one looks basically about the same, but there's only one dot right here. So this is the main difference for those the HR, VHR, but there's one thing that I have to say. I've seen uh, VQ35 rev ups comes with HR pistons, which is really, really rare, but I've seen it. But I don't know if it's rebuilt or someone did it, did something to it, I don't know. I just open up the engine when I see like, what the fuck? It has a um, HR pistons in there. Oh, there's a one major thing for DE and HR pistons. The DE piston ring is different from the HR piston ring. The compression ring, the first and second compression ring, they're exactly the same. But the oil ring is actually different. You can see this area right here. And then this area. It's way like skinnier. So basically, if you try to put a, the DE piston ring on the HR piston, it doesn't work. Or put an HR piston ring on the DE piston, it doesn't work. Because I've heard a lot of people, they say like, oh, I put a HR uh, piston ring on a D piston to prevent oil consumption. I, I, I mean, honestly, it doesn't make any sense because this shit doesn't even go on there. Well, you probably you probably wouldn't be able to tell from the video, but yes, the HR oil ring doesn't go on the D piston. That's for sure. So everything else is basically about the same. So come down to the rods. This is the DE rods, which is well known for spawn like spin bearings and just go rod knocks, go fuck up. Well, obviously, yes, it's the difference. This is HR piston, HR rods, and then um, uh, HR and then VHR rods. Like, see the size is different. Yes, those are the stock, stock one, stock one. They're all stock. So come down to this section right here. This is more like aftermarket. This is 8.5 to 1. It's made by uh, CP piston, which is for force induction. You can see it, like the difference between the stock ones. This one is dished. 
it's completely different. There's always a like a dom right here, a bigger dom right here, is a dom right here. But this one, if you can see it, it's dished. So um, it's for uh, lower compression for force induction because it's easier. It's it's uh, it maintains the boost better and they have more torque, obviously. So um, this is what I normally do. It's highly recommended to use this one, which is the CP piston. It's slightly more expensive than the Wesco, but yes, I like this one better for force induction. Come down to this one. This is the thing. This is the 11 to 1. You can see there's a big dome right here. A big one. It's a really big one. It's 11 to 1. And uh, it's made by Wesco Piston. It's pretty good. It's good for uh, NA build or maybe um, like a three, 3 to 5 pound of boost. Just, I don't know, it's, I should hold it, but it just like, it doesn't make any sense. Like high compression with the force induction, low key is kind of stupid to me. So, and you can see this is the DE rods. Like this is Eagle rods. And then this is, that, oh no, never mind. This is the stock DE rods. This is the difference right here. This thing is literally trash. This thing. That shit just go fuck up on its own. You don't need anything. And then this is the um, um, Eagle Rods for D. And then all the specs are actually the same. The length, the diameter, this hole, that hole, everything's the same. But this one you can see is just stronger. And then the bolts on it is different too. This, this, the connecting rod bolt is a little bit um, uh, bigger. And then this one, the torque spec on both is actually different too. The Eagle Rods, what I normally use is 43 pound, which is the APR bolt, which is pretty sick. I like it. And then this one is actually 15 pound. The OEM specs is 15 pound plus 90 degree. But it's just trash anyway. So this is the video for you guys to understand what's the difference between a HR, DE, VHR, aftermarket piston, low compression, high compression NA, or the rods. Yes. Oh, by the way, the HR Eagle rods looks exactly the same. I posted a video earlier to tell you guys what's the difference everything's the same just the lens is kind of different and then the diameter of this hole is kind of different but everything else is exactly the same so thank you for watching this video yes bye these nuts these nuts